there's some uh, fish in the big fish in this park. Uh, so I'm at Cave Springs. This is the, uh, I guess this is the cave. Although you can't actually get into the cave. It would be cool if you could get into the cave itself. But the water is apparently very, very pure. So I've already filled one bottle. I'm going to fill another couple of bottles. Um, I've got the 19 mile road walk to the next. Um, so I've got a 19 mile road walk, which I'm not going to do because I don't like getting bit by dogs. Uh, I've got to find a shuttle ride or hitch a ride up to High Point. Oh, which is 19 miles north of here, and then I'll get back on trail there. Uh, and then it's from there, it's um, it's like 80 miles to Dalton, so I don't know. Obviously, I'm not gonna do 80 miles in a couple of days, but uh, we'll have to look in ahead and see where my next uh, resupply is. I'm not sure, I haven't really looked that far ahead. So, this is the Hearn Inn, I highly recommend staying there. Uh, if you're a fan of history, uh, it's pretty spectacular old building that's uh, been my, my, mildly converted for modern use. Um, I paid $65 as a hiker for the night, <clears throat> so it's pretty special. Um, I am getting ready to try to get a shuttle out of... Cave Springs, but first I need to go to the post office. The rebel in me wants to push back up to the tower, because, you know, that's where the trail goes. But, well, emphasis on bushwhack. That would be a rough, rough slog through that nonsense. And even if I was to find a way through the woods around all that brush, well, that's still a steep uphill. I think I'm going to take the trail. Um, so I skipped ahead a little bit to High Point, Georgia, uh, trailhead. It's a distance of about 25 or so miles from, um, uh, Cave Springs where I was yesterday. The reason I skipped is because most of that is road walking, and there's all sorts of reports of, uh, people getting bitten by dogs. Uh, I'm not crazy about that idea. Uh, I'm also hiking in a kilt, so... I don't even have a flimsy bit of cloth to protect my legs from dogs. Uh, I talked with Southbender a couple days ago. He said a couple times he had dogs chasing him for a quarter of a mile or more. Every time he tried to turn and hike, they would come up behind him and try to rip out his hamstring. So, that sounds like a section of the trail that needs to get uh, re-mapped re re or something. There's another section coming up in uh, d near Dalton, Georgia, that has uh, 26 miles of road walking. I won't be doing that section either. I will skip it. Hopefully I can get a hitch, but I don't know. It goes through a pretty dense town. I'll probably have to pay for a shuttle or something. Uh, but skipping lets me see the trail, which is what I want to see, and gets me closer to Georgia, uh, where today's the 13th or the 14th. So we're getting closer to my uh, my date, uh, the 28th, where I'll be meeting up with my friend Georgia. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put my head down. I'm carrying some extra water because my next water source is in uh, 14 miles. It's pretty late in the day. I probably want to find some place to camp, but the place the area I'm in right now doesn't lead lend to that. If I had a hammock, I would already be camped, maybe. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try to find a way to carry this on my bag so I can use my trekking poles. Check out this view. This is probably the best view I've had in a long time. Uh, check out that cabin over there. I don't know if you can see it. Or how well you can see it. But... Right there, check that out. Isn't that cool? We had a property like that somewhere. I could live very happily well. I mean, not exactly like that. I think I would want a property on a lake somewhere, personally. Because I love to swim. But man, that's cool. And 
made it to my campsite and got my tent set up before sunset. Well, sunset was 10, 6.22, and according to this, it's 6.23. Uh, here's my home for tonight. Uh, trail is there. I'm on an old forest road. Uh, there's some tracks, but they're old. Of course, we just had three days of rain, so it could they could be pretty fresh. I don't know. But, um, whatever. Uh, hopefully nobody bothers me. Uh, or if they do bother me, hopefully they bring food. But this is home for tonight. I did, uh, 4.2 miles, I think. And I started at noon, so not bad. Also, and this is absolutely worth mentioning, I carried... I got a, just over a liter and a half of water in here. And I have two liter smart water bottles that I carried in my pack. That's three and a half liters in my pack. And I have a 20 ounce bottle that I had in my sweatshirt. So that's four liters of water I hold, and, and a heavy food bag that I hold up a really steep mountain. Uh, the mountain I climbed was called High Point, Georgia. I uh, will show a profile on the when I'm editing. I'll put in the profile for you, so you can see see it. But I, I did four miles, four point two miles, uh, in about five hours. And well, I took an hour break, so four hours. I did four point two miles in four hours carrying <laughs> a ton of water. So. I, I feel I did pretty good today. I did a lot farther than I expected to do. Um, earlier in the day, I was thinking I'm just going to climb up this mountain. I didn't sleep very well last night. I think I I dozed off at 9. I was asleep until maybe 11. And then I was up until 3. I couldn't fall back to sleep. Finally, around 3, I managed to fall back to sleep. Um, that was probably my own fault. I was playing with my phone until 3 in the morning. But, um, yeah. So I hiked 4.2 miles today. Um, up a, up a mountain carrying four liters of water and a heavy food bag. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to make dinner, crawl into my sleeping bag, and pass out. Getting a pretty spectacular sunset view from right here. Oh, isn't that pretty? Alright. Time to make dinner. Beautiful sunset. Cooking my dinner. Boil in the water. Once the water's boiled, I'll mix in some uh, roasted garlic, mashed potatoes, and I got a piece of cheese over here somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Uh, ah, right here. Pepper jack cheese. I'll put some pepper jack cheese in it. Mix it all up. Scoop it into my mouth. Curl up and go to sleep. It's supposed to get. Uh, I think the uh, the low tonight is supposed to be 31. Uh, that's for a town down on the ground. I'm about a thousand feet above them, so probably in the 30s or 29, 28 maybe. Uh, I meant to get a thermometer when I was in town, and I completely forgot. Sorry, I'll have to try to do it when I get to the next town, wherever that is. Anyway, I'm gonna see how my food's going and pull my sleeping bag out of the bag. Well, it got kind of cold last night. Uh, my weather app says 29 for Somerville, which is the town just off the uh, the ridge line. Actually, I think it's that direction. But um, I waited till the sun was up. Uh, sun is just kind of starting starting to touch on the tent. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty warm right now. I've got to go nine miles today to the next water source, but there might be water at the gap. Uh, there's some reports in far out. Of there being a cache so we'll look around for that hopefully there's some water there i drank two liters of water last night uh two and a half liters so i got a liter and a half of water left to, to hike with today pretty thirsty after coming up that hill so i, I drank all my water bottles but i'll put this into my water bottles and i'll hike um so today i got uh, I'll, I'll see what the trail what the trail brings me and i'll I'll go with it. That's that's all you can do. Uh, I did skip the road walk. I, I just want to get to the end of this trail. Um, I'm really looking forward to hitting the AT. Uh, 
the beginning of March. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get through this month, get off this trail. I mean, it's a great trail, and I'm, I'm loving it, but I'll, I'm missing the community on the Appalachian Trail, and I really can't wait to get there. Uh, just being able to talk with hikers every night is just such a reason. I, it's part of the reason I, I do this. It's not a whole reason. Um, I can't even tell you from day to day what the reason I do this is. I, there, there's also so many different reasons. But anyway, it's 8.30. i got to get going. I'll talk to you later. I've got the feeling that this is a border with the Georgia State Park. I mean, there are one, two, three, four, five, six yellow signs within 10 feet. There's one back there. Two. There's a little one here on the side of this tree. Three, four, five, six. I'm, I'm thinking that's overkill. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably over. So, came across a bird here in this tree. It's greenish. Oh, I don't know if I caught it. Some, oh, I don't know if you can see it. Air through the woods is the gravel road. Yeah, there it is. Anyway, there's the gravel road. And it's probably a surprise that I'm not hiking on it, but because I'm hiking in Crocs, these, uh, if I were to step on a rock or something, it hurts a lot. So, the trail has been pretty good so far today. Ups and downs, a little bit of rock, but nothing like super aggressive. So, I'm um, gonna just keep hiking down the uh, trail. Obviously, I don't want to bushwhack to that road. It's pretty far. And the trail's nice. So I'm going to keep hiking the road, uh, trail. Uh, about a mile and a half, there should be a um, a tower. And there might be, hopefully, some unmarked water sources. But there's a fire tower that I should be able to climb. So you'll get a good view there, hopefully. A viewing tower here, but all I'm seeing is, like, electronic monitoring towers and cell phone towers. It doesn't look like I'm going to get much of a view. Uh, it's 1.40. I've come about four and a half miles today. Uh, i got another mile or so to get to the road that I hear off in the distance. Um, i got a liter of water, but I'm about to sit down. And once I get up onto this little there's a gravel road coming up, once I get up on that road, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to kill that water. It's about two seconds flat. I'm pretty thirsty. Um, I drank the water that I carry in my poncho miles ago. So, uh, when I get to this road, some of the comments about the road say there's a water cache. If there is, fantastic. If there's not, I'm going to have to hitch down into Somerville and buy some water. Because I'm not going to make it to the next water source without water. Whew, it's a warm day today. I should probably take off the sweatshirt, but it's not that warm. It's a little bit breezy. And anyway, we'll see. There is a massive tree down on the trail just before the uh, gravel road. I'll have to tell somebody about that. I'm sure they can drive up here and take care of that with a saw. But that is um, it's a bit of a workaround, but it, it's rough. I was worried for a second I would twist my ankle. should probably take a, a picture of it just to let people know. I've got five one, two, three, four. There's a fifth one you can't see from this angle. Five, six, seven towers. And not a single one that I can climb on. It's just a shame. I was looking forward to showing you guys a view of this area. But, oh well. Found a fantastic water source about two tenths of a mile before this big road that I was worried about. Coming right out from underneath this tree. I mean, I imagine it starts up there. It just flows down. But it's coming out from underneath this tree and I scooped three meters uh, right there underneath the tree uh, in 20 seconds maybe, 30 seconds. I've got it uh, gravity filtering over here. I noticed ye uh, yesterday, I don't know how it happened, I was carrying the bladder. I think I think what was happening, I, I carried, I was carrying the bladder up the mountain yesterday, up high point yesterday. 
and I dropped it and I, I've noticed now since it's got a, a tiny pinprint, pinprick leak, which is seriously annoying. It means I'm going to need a new C-Knock bag. Uh, for now, it can, it'll hopefully work to, to uh, gravity drain, but I can't squeeze it anymore because it just squeeze it, it's, uh, sprays off the side whenever I squeeze it. So, roads, uh, I'm currently following this uh, gravel road because that's the trail. Um, somewhere around south of Cave Springs, the trail markers changed from blue blazes to white blazes. So I am now uh, white blazing, following the white blazes. That blazer, that's right there, is one of the blazes. So I don't know when it happened. That must have happened during a section that I was hiking, or that I skipped, or that I was hiking on the road. Uh, due to the weather, but um, yeah, I'm now following white blazes, not blue blazes. But for that two tenths of a mile, I'm on this gravel road, and then once we're across the road, I'm gonna start looking for a campsite. Uh, there's no good campsites, but I'm sure I'll find something. It'll be noisy camping near the road, but it's better than camping. I've been sitting here for 45 minutes, I've got two and a half liters filtered. And I'm working on more because the next water source isn't for like five miles. But this is absolutely ridiculous. This is why I hate the Sawyer Mini. Because I've been sitting here for 45 minutes and I only have. What's that look like? Half a liter? I'm not even up to three liters yet. I got the, the two liters in my pack. I got my little water bottle here that I keep in my sweatshirt, but I want four liters to take to my next campsite for the night, and I'm certainly not camping here. There's no place here. This is, uh, there's some trash there. There's more trash up there. Well, it's not the greatest place to camp. I'm right next to a highway. It seems like it probably makes a lot of noise all night long, but... I'm exhausted. I did five miles today. I feel like I did more. I probably should push on for another mile. There's a campsite at the top of this hill, but I don't feel like doing another uphill tonight, especially carrying four or five liters of water. And there's a little stream right here, so I can drink as much as I want tonight and get more in the morning. Um, so that's just what I'm going to do. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, the 15th of uh, February. I am camped too close to this major road here um, at Mac White Gap. Um, it actually turned out to be a good thing that I camped so close to the road, though. Uh, last night I was on. I was. Uh, I got good signal here, so I was on uh, Facebook looking at the um, Ben Hody Outdoor page, and uh, somebody commented asking about parking in the area that I'm hiking in right now, and somebody. Uh, Local hiker uh, responded that he lived 15 minutes from the trail um, where I'm camped right now. So I kind of sent a message to him saying, hey, I'm... Basi basically, I responded to the thing as well as, hey, what do you know? I'm camped right down the street from you. Um, and so he texted me, uh, it private messaged me, asking me if there was anything I needed. And I admitted that I was low on fuel, so he brought me a brand new fuel canister uh, which I was happy to pay for I, I gave him 10 bucks for it it's probably not worth that it's probably worth like 8 but whatever he brought it to me at 7.30 last night so um, while he was here we were chatting for a few minutes he asked me if there was anything I needed and I said I could use a few things uh, there was a Dollar General down the store, down the street so he took me down to the Dollar General uh, at 7.30 of the night I left my gear all set up it was dark. Nobody, was, nobody bothered. We were only gone for 20 minutes. Um, I was a little worried leaving my gear set up next to such a busy road, but he pointed out, he rightly pointed out that nobody was going to be getting out of their cars looking in the woods on the random chance they might find a tent. So, and I figured animals would get in here if they wanted to, but it probably all smells like me. And like, yeah, I, like I said, I came back out. There was nothing wrong with it. So I got some resupplies. So I don't have to worry about getting off trails quite so soon. Um, it's still 57 miles to Dalton, which is, uh, apparently a pretty rough town. I'm not looking forward to hiking through there. 
Um, hopefully I'll be able to get a ride or figure out a shuttle or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I got some resupply on last night and I got a new fuel canister. Um, I'm 7.30, I just woke up. Uh, the road is making some noise, but I mean, it didn't bother me last night. And I woke up at 3 in the morning and I only heard two cars go by. So it wasn't that bad. I didn't think it would be. Um, I'm going to drink some water. There's a stream real close. Hopefully it doesn't take an hour and a half to fill the water again. But I can't wait till I can replace this stupid Sawyer Mini. It, it is such a bad filter. Anyway, I'm going to get some food in me and hike up the mountain.